We're, we're going to start seated today. So let's take a nice comfortable seat on your mat and just close your eyes and begin to settle down and ground into this moment. So just ground down through your sit bones, lift through the top of your head, bring your shoulders up into your ears and relax your shoulder blades down your back. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Let it out through your mouth. One more deep breath in through your nose. Let it out. Let's take a moment to become aware of all of the different noises around us. Sounds outside of this room and sounds within this room. Acknowledge them and let them be. Let your awareness rest on your breath. Long, slow inhalations in, long, slow exhalations out. When you're ready, open your eyes, inhale, arms lift up, look up. Exhale, hands come down, reach through your fingers as far as they'll go. Inhale, arms lift up, look up. Exhale, hands come down. One more, inhale, lift up, look up. Exhale, hands come down. Inhale, lift up, look up, twist to your right, your right hand behind you, your left hand to your knee. Lengthen through the top of your head. Exhale, gaze over your back shoulder. Let the inhale take you taller and longer and your exhale will twist a little bit deeper. Look forward. Unwind, inhale, arms lift up and twist to the other side. Lengthen through the top of your head, exhale, twist. It's big breathing, focus on your breath. Look forward and unwind. Plant your left hand down, right arm up and over. Reach through your fingers as far as they'll go. Rotate your rib cage up towards the ceiling and reach, reach, reach. Come back to center. Plant your right hand down, left arm up and over. Rotating your rib cage up towards the ceiling. Come back to center. We're gonna come into tabletop position. Wrists underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. On your inhalation, drop your belly, lift your heart, look up. On your exhalation, pull your belly button towards the ceiling, round your back. Just moving in and out of cat-cow with your breath. Letting your breath connect you to this moment. Anchoring your body to this moment. Linger wherever you need to linger. Coming back to your tabletop position. We're gonna extend our right leg out on the mat, toes on the mat to start. Really press through your heel, engage your core, Really engage your belly, lifting up, lift your leg up, reach out through your left fingertips. Bring your knee and your elbow in and release. Come in and release. In and release. Two more with your breath. And hold. Really press through your heel, reach through your fingers. Bring your hand down, bring your knee down, switch sides. 
Extend your right foot out. Toes on the mat to start. Really press through your heel. <coughs> Excuse me. Engage your core. Lift your leg up. Reach out through your right fingertips. Bring your knee and your elbow in. And release. In. And release. Three more. Follow your breath. And hold. Bring your hand down. Bring your knee down. One more cat cow. Drop your belly. Lift your heart. Look up. Pull your belly button towards the ceiling. Round your back. Come back to tabletop position. Tuck your toes. Lift your hips. Downward facing dog. Come high up on your toes. Lift your hips. Press your heels back and down. Shake your head no. Got it. Yes. Breathe your way in. All right, so from here, bend your knees, hover your knees above the mat, crouching tiger, hidden dog. So crouch down, press your hips back and up. Try that again, crouch down, hover your knees above the mat. Press up. One more, crouch down. Press up. Let your head relax, shake it, no. Not a yes. Find equanimity in your downward facing dog. Now, you can stay right here or you can choose to lift your right leg up towards the ceiling, really pressing out through your heel. Bring the right foot down. Realign your downward facing dog. Left leg, you can lift up or stay in downward facing dog. Bring your foot down. Realign your downward facing dog. Look forward between your hands. Walk your feet up to the top of the mat. Bring your hands to your shins. Press and lengthen forward. Look forward. Full. Bring your hands to your shins, press and lengthen, look forward, fold. Deep bend in your knees, take hold of your elbows and hang or rock from side to side. Release your hands down outside of your feet. Deep bend in your knees. We're gonna ragdoll up one vertebra at a time, slowly, slowly, slowly. Coming into Tadasana, into Mountain Pose. So from here, really ground down through the four corners of your feet. Take your hips forward and back, side to side. Find that place of equanimity. Inhale, arms lift up. Bring hands together overhead, reach straight up, reach back, little back bend, stand tall, touch your thumbs to your back, to your forehead, to your heart center. Inhale, arms sweep up, bring hands together overhead, reach up, reach back, stand tall, touch your thumbs to your back, to your forehead, to your heart center. One more, arms lift up, bring hands together overhead, reach up. Little back bend, stand tall, touch your thumbs to your back, to your forehead, your heart center. Inhale, arms sweep up and swan dive forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway and fold, plant your hands, step or hop back to plank. Engage your core, you can hang out right here. You can always bring your knees down if you need to. Try to keep that um, a long angle if you do that but lift knees up or knees down, and then lower down, knees, chest, and chin, or chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing. Hang out in your upward facing dog. Now, your knees can be down, or you can lift your knees up, really engaging all the muscles of your body. Gaze over your right shoulder. Come back to center, gaze over your left shoulder. Coming back to center, Press your hips to your heels, bring your forehead to the mat. Make your way into child's pose. Bring your forehead to the mat, take a big deep breath in. Let it out. 
Tuck your toes, lift your hips, downward facing dog. Coming high up on your toes, lift your hips, press your heels back and down. Shake your head no, not a yes. Look forward between your hands, walk your feet up to the top of the mat. Bring your hands to your shins, press and lengthen forward. Fold, inhale, arms lift up, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, arms sweep up, reach up and swan dive forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway and fold. Plant your hands, step or hop back to plank. Lower down, knees, chest and chin or chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale to downward facing dog, take it back. Downward facing dog, five deep breaths right here, downward facing dog. Look forward between your hands, step or hop to the top of the mat, lengthen through, fold. Inhale, lift up, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, lift up, reach up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway and fold. Plant your hands, step or hop back to plank. Lower down, knees, chest and chin or chaturanga, lower down. Upward and downward. Look forward between your hands, step your left foot through. High runner's lunge, we're gonna step on the toes of our back foot. Engage your core, arms lift up, reach up. Belly's engaged, big breathing. Bring your hands together at heart center. Twist to the left, right elbow, left thigh. Come back to center, hands come down on either side of your front foot. Step back to downward facing dog. Coming high up on your toes. Lift your hips, press your heels back and down. Look forward between your hands, step your right foot to the top of the mat, high runner's lunge on this side. So we're gonna stay up on the toes of your back foot, arms lift up, reach up. Bring your hands together at heart center. We're going to twist to the right, left elbow, right thigh. Spiraling open, big breathing. Come back to center, hands come down on either side of your front foot. Step back to downward facing dog, come high up on your toes. Lift your hips, press your heels back and down. Shake your head no, not a yes. Find your breath. Look between your hands, walk your feet up to the top of the mat. Bring your hands to your shins, lengthen forward. Flat back and fold. Bend your knees, Utkatasana chair, sit back and deep. Sitting back nice and deep. Breathe your way in. Fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway. And fold, plant your hands, step or hop back to plank. Lower down, knees, chest and chin or chaturanga. Inhale upward. Exhale downward facing. Look forward between your hands, step your left foot to the top of the mat. Plant your back heel down. We're moving into Virabhadrasana one, warrior one. So your hips point forward, arms lift up. Now check in with your core, engage your core here. Check in with your front knee, is it over top of your ankle? Arms lifting, gaze forward. 
Tuck your chin in towards your chest. Looking up, big breathing. Now, hands are gonna come down on either side of your front foot. Step back to plank. Now you can skip this and press right back to downward facing dog or you can take a vinyasa. Lower down, inhale upward, exhale downward. Looking forward, step your right foot forward to the top of the mat. Plant your back heel down, arms lift up, reach up. Now check in once again with your core, hug in, knee over top of your ankle, chin tucks towards your chest, lifting up. Big breathing. Hands come down on either side of your front foot. Step back to plank. Lower down, knees, chest, and chin, or chaturanga. Inhale upward. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe your way in. Look between your hands, step or hop to the top of the mat. Bring your hands to your shins, press and lengthen forward. Fold Uttanasana, inhale to chair. Sit back deep. Big breathing right here. Drop your tailbone. Fold forward Uttanasana. Inhale halfway. Fold, plant your hands, step or hop back to plank. Lower down, knees, chest, and chin, or chaturanga. Upward. And downward, take it back. Look forward between your hands. Step your left foot forward to Virabhadrasana one. Arms lift up, reach up, look up. Connect to your breath. Be planted right here in this moment. Open to Virabhadrasana two, our arms open up. Now, we're gonna gaze over the nail of our middle finger of our left hand. Big breathing, engage all the muscles of the legs, engage your core, hug everything in towards your midline. Relax your shoulders. They wanna creep up towards your ears, don't let them do that. Sink in. Straighten your front leg. Reach towards the top of the mat. Reach, reach, reach. We're coming into triangle. Tree Kanasana. Triangle. Opening your heart and chest. Looking up towards your fingers. Now check in with your neck. Does it feel scrunched up to look up? Is it better to look straight out or down? Play with how it feels in your body. That's the only thing that matters is how it feels to you. Press into your feet, arms lift up, bend your front knee, palm the front hand face up, exalt your warrior, reach back, windmill your hands to the top of the mat, step back to plank. Now you can just press right back to downward facing dog or you can take a vinyasa, bringing down either knees, chest and chin or a chaturanga. Inhale to upward or cobra and then exhale downward facing dog. Big breathing. Look forward between your hands. Step your right foot to the top of the mat. Plant your back foot down. Arms lift up. Big breathing. Open to Virabhadrasana two. And then Sri Kanasana triangle here, straighten the front leg, reach towards the top of the mat, triangle. Check in with your gaze, either up or straight out or down. Careful not to lock out your front knee, it still has a micro bend.
Press into your feet, arms lift up, bend your front knee, palm of your front hand face up, exalt your warrior, reach back, windmill your hands to the top of the mat, step back to plank, hold your plank, either moving right back to downward facing dog or moving through vinyasa, inhale upward, exhale downward facing. Okay, looking forward, we're gonna bring our right knee into our chest coming into pigeon on this side. So really taking a moment to settle into your pigeon, doing whatever you need to do to get as comfortable and cozy as possible. Proud pigeons lifting out your chest and your heart, looking up, lead with your chin as you come down. On your inhale, lift up, lead with the back of your neck. Come on down and lift up. Come on down and lift up. Then come all the way down. Well, you could stay here if that feels right for you, but you could come down onto your forearms. You can come down onto a book, a pillow, a block. Hang out in whatever feels right in your body. Breathe your way in. Check in. Use your breath right here. Lifting up, proud pigeons puffing out your heart and your chest. Pour weight into your right thigh. We're gonna take our left leg over and around. So we're gonna cross it over top of the right. You can see what I'm doing here. Now, lengthening up through the top of your head, we're gonna to twist to the left. So hug your knee in towards your chest. Your elbow can come on the inside of your leg, lengthening up through the top of your head and twist. Look forward, unwind, gentle counter twist to the other side, and then look forward, unwind, take it back to downward facing dog any way you want. Coming back to your downward facing dog, breathing into your downward facing dog. Looking forward, we're gonna step our left foot forward into pigeon on this side. So do whatever you need to do to get comfortable in your pigeon on this side. Proud pigeons puffing out your chest and your heart. Lead with your chin as you come on down. Bring your chin in towards your chest. Lead with the back of your neck, lifting up. Coming down and lift up. One more coming down and lifting up. And then coming all the way down, prayerful pigeons, either onto your forearms, we're all the way down onto your chest and heart, breathing your way in. Lifting up, proud pigeons puffing out your heart and your chest one more time. Pour weight into your left thigh. We're gonna take that right leg over and around. Ground down into your sit bones, lengthen through the top of your head. Now we're gonna twist to the right, either hugging the knee in or bringing the elbow on the inside of the knee, lengthening up, long spine, gaze over your back shoulder. Connect to your breath. Look forward, unwind, gentle counter twist to the opposite side. 
look forward and gently extend your legs forward in front of you. Move the flesh of the sit bones away. Hands come down on either side of your hips. Ground down through your sit bones. Pull your toes back towards your body. Dandasana, stack pose. Lengthening up like you're going to press into the floor so hard that you're going to be able to lift yourself up off. Chin tucks in towards the chest. Inhale, arms lift up and fold forward. Walk your hands back, bend your knees, bring your feet to the mat. All right, we're gonna move back into Navasana boat pose. So strong bodies make strong minds, engage your core, lift up, lift your feet up off the mat, reach out, core is engaged, belly lifting, keep breathing, keep lifting, hovering here, sink your boat, lower down and hold. Lift up, big breathing. Lower down and hover, core is engaged, belly lifting, keep breathing. Lift up, come on down and hover. Lift up, bring your feet down. Lengthen up through the top of your head. Walk your feet forward just a little bit. Arms reach out, slowly coming on to your back. Draw your knees in. Lift your head, lift your tailbone. Exhale your head back down. Rock it out from side to side. Rock it all out. All right. Shins parallel to the ground. We're going to move into yogi bicycles. Bring your hands behind your head. Extend your right leg out, right elbow towards your left knee and switch. Big breathing. 10, 10, 9, 9, 8, 8, 7, 7, Six, six, five, five, four, four, three, three, two, two, one, one. Draw your knees in, lift your head, lift your tempo, turn into a little ball. Exhale your head down. Rock it out from side to side. Rock it all out. Bring your feet down on the mat. Hands come down at your sides. We're going to press up into bridge. Lift your hips up, coming into bridge. Bring your shoulders underneath you. You can interlace your fingers if that feels right to you and lift. Slowly coming down one vertebra at a time. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Find the edges of the mat with your feet. Center yourself in the middle. Open your arms out wide like a T. Let your knees fall over to the right as you gently turn your head left. Relax. Soften whatever you can soften. Feel fully supported by the ground beneath you. Lift your knees up to center. Let them fall over to the other side as you gently turn in the opposite direction. Lifting your knees up to center. 
extend your legs out on the mat, arms come down at your sides, palms face up, open to receive. Do whatever you need to do to get as comfortable and cozy as possible. Adding a blanket or um, a, maybe a rolled up blanket underneath your knees or a gent, a small one underneath the cervical portion of your neck. Maybe putting socks back on, whatever feels right to you. Settle into this shape. Arms down at your sides, relaxing, softening. Let go of tension in the bottoms of your feet, the tops of your feet. Relax your ankles and your toes. Let go of tension in your calves and your shins. Relax your knees. Let go of tension in your thighs. The back of your thighs. Your IT bands. Your inner thighs. And your quads. Hamstrings. Let go of tension in your hips, your pelvis, your belly. Relax your hands, the back of your hands, your palms, your fingers, and your wrist. Let go of tension in your forearms and your elbows, your upper arms and your shoulders. Let go of tension in your chest, the back of your chest, front of your chest, sides of your chest the inner costal muscles between your ribs. Relax your collarbones and your neck. Let go of tension in your jaw, your cheeks, your forehead, the top of your head. If any thoughts come to mind, just let them go. Whatever it is, you can think about it later. Bring small movements to your toes and to your fingers. Maybe move your head from side to side. If it feels right, you can reach your arms overhead and your feet out straight. Give it one last full body stretch and relax. Bending your knees, bringing your feet to the mat. 
we'll gently and carefully roll to our right side, pausing there for just a moment. And then when you're ready, slowly push yourself up to a nice, comfortable seated position, eyes closed, hands at heart center. We're going to close our practice this morning with three loud ohms, remembering that an ohm is like an ah, oh, um sound. And when we ohm, ohm is said to be the vibration of all things everywhere. And we're connecting to everything and everyone. So the first ohm is going to be for ourselves. The second ohm is going to be for our community and loved ones. And the third ohm will be for all beings everywhere. Take a big deep breath in. Uh... Uh... Yoga will teach us so much about ourselves. It will help us become flexible in mind, in body, and in spirit. For that, I'm truly grateful. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Namaste. Good work, yogis. Okay, so you're welcome to Put your video back on if you want to join together in meditation. And we're going to set up for meditation and I'm going to grab my meditation cushion. I hope everyone's body is feeling good after that. So just take a nice comfortable seat and close your eyes. Um, palms face up if you are feeling a little bit more open today and want to receive energy. Palms face down if you just want to hold that energy inward. Hands can be in your lap together if that feels right for you. So just find whatever feels best in your body. Take a big breath in through your nose. Let it out through your mouth. One more in through your nose and out through your mouth. And then moving into in through your nose, out through your nose. So focusing your attention and your awareness just on your breath. In through your nose, out through your nose. Let this practice be all about the breath. If at any time today, your mind begins to wander, gently, without judgment, bring it back to your breath. Imagine that there is a warm, golden light shining down on you.
this warm golden light is filling you with warmth and love and comfort. And as this warm golden light is streaming down on you, notice if there are any fears that are bubbling up within you. Imagine those fears just bubbling up to the surface. Acknowledge them one by one. Notice them, be aware of them. Feel each fear fully. Whatever it is, just allow it. Letting it take whatever time it needs. And then imagine that warm streaming golden light. When the light really hits the fears after you felt them and experienced them. That warm golden light is just going to burn that fear away. You watch it evaporate right before you. with your fears brought to the surface, felt, seen, and let go of, what is there room for? Is there room for trust, for faith, Creativity. Hope. Imagine those feelings. Do you have faith, hope, trust? love, creativity. Or maybe is there a different emotion that's bubbling up that can help you in the midst of all of this? Feel that emotion rising up or imagine yourself holding the emotion that's coming up for you right now the most in a positive light. And imagine that as the light touches this emotion, it actually amplifies. It solidifies around you like an armor of protection, an armor of nourishment, strong and it's contagious in a good way. You have more than enough for yourself and you have more than enough to share. And as this golden light is streaming down on you, Imagine that everything is always working out for you. Imagine that you are being loved and nourished and strengthened. Your cup is being filled.
And there's so much in your cup, there's overflow. Overflow for you to share, share with yourself when you need it, the community, the world. Just sit with this cup filling up and overflowing. Feel what that feeling is like. And then beginning to let go of this visualization, this meditation. Just feeling back into your body, feeling back into this moment, being present for yourself. When you're ready, opening your eyes, coming back and you're welcome to um, take yourself off mute if there's anything you want to share anything that came up for you if you have any questions about the meditation or about our practice today I'd just like to say to you because um, I really, I really am getting so much out of this and my body feels so much better and I can tell the difference today than the first time. And um, I actually started another like Sunday night so that I've got it like every other day. Yeah. And, yeah. So thank you for that. And the, the thing that I noticed today is that, you know, really you allow us to go at our own pace with the moves that you're doing. And so there was one that um, when we were on our backs and our legs were going and then our arms were going opposite, I could only do my legs. <laughs> it's like I couldn't get both of them going, but that's my goal for the future. So, but, but I noticed where I was today. Thank you so much for sharing that. Thank you. I appreciate you all so much. Thank you for anchoring my day, and I hope you have Same. a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks, Alicia. Thank you. Bye. Bye.